The Sustainable Development Goals embody our highest aspirations for a better world. They provide governments, civil society and the private sector with policy direction in critical areas for the well-being of people and planet. They include commitments to end poverty in all its forms and to reduce inequality within and among countries. Fighting poverty and inequality requires a systematic analysis of fiscal policies, especially around two questions. Is government spending on social sectors such as health, education and social protection really benefiting populations living in poverty? And what are the impacts of taxes and transfers on income inequality? Two new indicators in the SDG Indicator Framework, which tracks and reports progress on the SDGs, help to measure and monitor the impact of fiscal policies. To deliver on its ambition to end poverty in all its forms, SDG 1 explicitly calls for sound policy frameworks which are based on pro-poor development strategies. This is now possible thanks to Indicator 1B1, Pro-Poor Public Social Spending, that came from a proposal from UNICEF and Save the Children. It measures the proportion of government expenditure in education, health and direct transfers which directly benefit people who face monetary poverty. Data covering more than half of the world's population is now reported and helps us to better understand how government's financing decisions are really aligned with poverty-reducing strategies. To deliver on the promise of SDG 10 to reduce inequality, we need to monitor the impact of tax and transfers on income distribution. This is now possible thanks to the introduction of Indicator 10.4.2 proposed by the World Bank, Oxfam and the Commitment to Equity Institute. This indicator reports on the redistributive impact of fiscal policy, which is the difference between pre-fiscal and post-fiscal income inequality. The inclusion of this indicator is an important step toward the creation of a global standard for assessing government effectiveness in truly tackling inequality. Tax, transfers and spending on social sectors are some of the most powerful instruments in the hands of government to tackle poverty and inequality. Monitoring pro-poor public social spending and the redistributive impact of fiscal policy will support governments and civil servants to act by giving them the chance to make more informed fiscal policy decisions. It also helps citizens and civil society to hold governments to account to ensure that financing decisions are fit to reduce poverty and inequality.